Hey all, this is a quick guide on how to open your Minecraft server up to the public without having to mess with port forwarding so your friends can play on your server with you. So let's get into it. The first thing we're going to want to do is head over to playit.gg and click the download button towards the bottom. Then you will need to select your operating system. For example, for us, we're going to be using Windows 64. So we're going to hit download, then click keep, then open it. Once it opens up, we'll go ahead and install it. Now that we have it installed, we can go ahead and minimize the website for now. Now that you're on your desktop, go ahead and run playit.gg, and then we'll go ahead and minimize this screen. Next, you're going to want to bring back up your playit.gg and click the login button. I have an account, so I'm going to log in. But for you, if you don't have an account, go ahead and click the create account and then go through that process to get it done. Once you've created your account and you're logged in and ready to go, go ahead and click on the set up a new agent button. Once you reach this screen, you can go ahead and click on the yes, it's running button. On step two, sometimes it will automatically detect that you're running the play it app. If not, you can go ahead and click on the enter code here, then take the last digits from the play it app and copy and paste them into the add new agent box. Once you do that, it'll go through multiple checks. Eventually, it'll get to step four, where then you can click on create tunnel. Now that you're here, you'll go ahead and leave the region as is and then click on tunnel type where you can click on Minecraft Java and click add tunnel. After you've clicked that, you'll notice that it says your tunnel is pending. This can sometimes take a little bit, but most of the time it's pretty fast. So just give it some time and come back. Once it's done, you'll see a screen like this. Go ahead and copy the public address, which is right here. With that copied, we can then go ahead and open up Minecraft where we can make our server with the new public address that we have. Go ahead, open up your multiplayer tab, and you'll see once you add the server, you can still name it whatever you'd like. And under server address is where we're going to paste that address from playit.gg's website. Now you can see the server comes up and we can join it just to verify that it is in fact working correctly. If you followed along with this video, you should have a public address to share with your friends so they can join your server. Just a quick reminder, you will need to keep both playit.gg app and your Minecraft server running in the background while others are connected. If this video helped you out, hit that like button. I'll be posting more tutorials soon, so consider subscribing if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and as always, have fun.